This is a stone I've passed many, many times on a trail I regularly walk. And uh, it's a beautiful example of what I would call cortical bone. So the, uh, the trabecular bone is the bone that looks like Swiss cheese and uh, has uh, all kinds of blood vessels. It's in the center part of our long bones and our skull where the blood is produced. Whereas the compact bone is the thick outer layer of bone that, uh, that is, is, is solid and it has very little in the way of vascularity. But you can see that there's all kinds of little lines of, of micro blood vessels going in different directions. I talk about this in, in a lot of detail in, in the Unveiling a Titan part four video about uh, the tissues and also part six as well. And I go in with my, microscopy and, and look at it. But here you can see that there's quartz and iron, lots of iron mixed in with quartz. And I call that the, the red blood and the plasma. Plasma is, is yellow. If you think of egg yolk, uh, uh, almond oil, um, fish oils, they all have that, that uh, uh, yellowy color. And, um, and I hypothesize that when it petrifies, it, it turns to quartz. And so this is showing uh, a blood vessel opening. We'll look at it in a moment from the other side. You can see the quartz mixed in with the iron ore. This has been broken off and it has some growth here. This is, this is like an algae or a moss or, or something, the beginnings of it, that's not part of the stone. Um, but uh, check this out over here, this is cool. You can see this opening here and it's lined with quartz, so that would be blood vessel. And then the iron ore cake to the, the outside of it, so the the accumulation of the, the red blood cells are going to be rich in, in iron. You can see here, there's a little channel going up and it's caked up in there with uh, the red earth. And oftentimes you'll find those not just with the red earth in places that it shouldn't be able to get to with simple flooding, but it'll also be uh, combined with, with the iron ore as well. Yeah, so that's a that's a an example of what I would call compact bone.